The word get is a verb. The dictionary defines it as receiving or having possession, use, or enjoyment of, coming to a specified place, arriving, reaching, and lastly, to succeed, to become enabled, or to be permitted. So with all that said, did you get it? Good. Good. Welcome to Get the Podcast. You better get it while the getting's good. It won't be long until I'm gone in all likelihood. Misinformed is an excuse, be the engine that could. I know my roots, I know my rights, and still misunderstood. I'm getting to it. Hey, what's up, people? It's your friendly neighborhood Negro, JC. And Get the Pod is a micro pod where I give my two cents, a couple quarters, and a few dollars on some hot button issues in not only the black community, but the overall global community. All of the episodes will be under 20 minutes with the goal of hopefully getting you to the point of fruitful and meaningful conversations with those in your immediate friend groups and circles. So, you got it now? Yep. You get it yet? I think so. Good. Let's go. All right. Ladies, gents, and other non-conforming into gender people. It's going to be the side effects of COVID part two, because there needs to be a part two, obviously, because I've been sick with the shit for a week. So I've had more experiences than in one episode. Um, All right. If there has been nothing that um, this disease has taught me, it's that marijuana should be legalized in all 50 fucking states. Period. Period. Because let me explain something to you. First of all, COVID affects everyone differently. So that's one of the things that makes it kind of like a, a bitch is that like you can't really it's not it's kind of hard to pin down. Like I said, my fever wasn't extremely high. I was at like 99.9 and I didn't lose my taste and my smell, but I still have like full blown COVID. Right. And for some people, they lose their taste and their smell, but they, you know, they don't have a fever or, you know, like they might have lost taste and smell and they have like, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, breathing issues. You know what I'm saying? Like it attacks everybody differently. So in my specific case, I am um, uh, I have fatigue and body aches extremely bad. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like my whole entire body hurts. It hurts to breathe. It hurts to stand. It hurts to walk sometimes. Like my entire body feels like one big ass ball of tension. So anytime I'm moving, it's like, it it just really hurts. And that extends to sleep, right? Because there were beyond the shadow of a doubt. I'm gonna tell you right now, if I did not have edibles, right? Shout out to my boy. And shout out to the state of California. If I did not have any edibles, I would not have been able to sleep comfortably, period. I would not have been able to do it because like it hurts to lay in your bed on your back, right? And breathe. It hurts to lay on your side and breathe. It hurts to lay on your stomach and breathe. Like it just, you, you see where I'm going. There's a pattern here. And so like definitely, you know, I am, I had taken edibles and those edibles allowed the pain to subside enough for me to be able to take a fucking nap. Do you understand? Like I am such a proponent of medical or excuse me, medical and recreational marijuana usage and legalization, it is not even funny, right? Because I could imagine someone who's maybe suffering like from some chronic disease or ailment or whatever with some of the same symptoms that I have now, bitch, you don't want to take oxycodone and Percocet and all that shit all the time because those leave you really, really loopy. And me personally, I know my body very well. And when I take pills like that, when I take different medications, my immune system actually goes down, which is part of the reason why I think I actually got sick in the first place because I was taking painkillers and muscle relaxers for my knee, uh, which I heard um, last month in Cabo when I was at the beach. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to take quote unquote medication or pain meds to deal with the pain, right? At least THC, marijuana, you know, edibles, cannabis, CBD, these are naturally occurring and growing things. You know what I'm saying? 
your body deals with that a lot better than it would deal with, I don't know, the other bullshit. So I don't feel necessarily sluggish or slow or anything, you know what I'm saying, after taking an edible, you know, outside the obvious, but you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, there's no side effects after me taking an edible. I just feel good. I'm on a cloud. I'm watching TV. I can move without necessarily being in a whole bunch of pain. And I can actually kind of enjoy this horribly fucked up quarantine and situation that I've been put in. And so I don't understand how when we talk about a drug like this, I don't understand how anybody, anybody after what I've just described, you know what I'm saying, would be against the legalization of marijuana after hearing this story. Like, I don't I don't I don't want you to take I don't want you guys to take this as me being facetious or as me being like extra. Like, no, I really want you to understand that if it wasn't for THC edibles that I had purchased, I would not be able to fucking sleep. Like, I really want you to get that. Like, that's how bad it hurts to breathe, my nigga. And I'm not like a lot of people where I had trouble breathing. No, I can breathe just fine. It just hurt like a some bitch. <laughs> so I want y'all to understand, like, I am in no way, shape, or form miscategorizing the importance of my edibles, of my THC, of, of, of the weed that helped me cope through this week. I am in no way miscategorized. I am in no way, like, I, I really want you to, I don't, imagine, I don't know, the most, imagine going to the gym and having a really good workout. And then, of course, you're sore, right? You work your arms, you work traps, you know, you work your delts and all of that shit. And then, you know how your arms are sore? Okay, well, imagine all of that all over, especially inside your lungs. And imagine it happening every time you breathe in or breathe the fuck out, right? Imagine that pain on a constant basis, 24-7, for the past seven fucking days, <laughs> okay? So I really want y'all to understand, like, I don't understand, y'all understand, like, how pro-weed I am right now. Because I'm I'm really pro weed, I'm pro liberation. I am for the shits. Like I really, really just want you to, I want you guys to understand. Um. So yeah, that's that's it. That's that's the that's the quote. That's the quote. Ooh, they're crispy. I made fries in the air fryer. But yeah, that's it. That's the quote. Legalize the shit. I'm sick of the shit. Like, I've I've always not kind of been a fan and a proponent of legalizing marijuana because why the fuck not? We grown. Like, if you grown and you want to smoke a blunt in your house, what the fuck do it matter? All right? I live on the West Coast. I remember going to dispensaries and I said, legalize the shit. Period. Dear old white people, please die so we can legalize this shit. And so that people that have COVID-19 or have glaucoma or have Crohn's disease or whatever other chronic situation that they might have going on where marijuana is a more than acceptable alternative to the thing. So that way people can access it. Like this is just, it's like I said, I don't, I have such a newfound respect for the legalization effort and for the efforts to legalize it in the first place, because like I said, it, it is necessary. I, I cannot say enough how much this shit matters and I'm out. Get the podcast is a production from the OVT network with original artwork by Kenzo Sturdivant and original music by Sincerely Blue. The podcast is hosted and edited by me, your friendly neighborhood Negro, JC. If you found value in anything I've said here today, please subscribe, like, share, and comment on YouTube or Instagram at the OVT Network. You can also connect with me, JC, on IG at JC from the OVT. Got to keep it simple, right? Don't forget to rate us five stars and subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, or wherever your podcasts are casted. 
And lastly, did you know that if you share this podcast with just one person, we would double in size the community? So with that being said, get to sharing, goddammit. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys. Appreciate you listening. Peace.